hello guys welcome to the uh, episode 11 of the crystal palace save i am the custard prophet and of course this is going to be the last uh, episode because things were going incredibly badly last time we were together it looked kind of like we might be turning the corner we we'd gone on that kind of nice run and then it came to the live comms and the team just fell apart and you can see there those two results against burnley and then against newcastle and next up was liverpool and this was never going to go well and you can see there against liverpool it didn't go well uh, this was was interesting. We um, we went with the, the the standard tactic that I've been going with, uh, and it was really not very good. They absolutely smashed us. So what I did, I tried to change the tactic halfway through. Created a decided because we got Milivojevic and um, Koyate, Koyate, um, we who are both very, 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 very good uh, ball-winning midfielders. I played both of those with McCarthy just ahead. Didn't work at all. We were smashed. I thought, well, it's been nice while it lasted. It really has. Then we played uh, Leicester away from home. Uh, no, at home. We absolutely had to get a result here. And you can see this is back here. You can see who scored. So Michi Batshuayi last minute goal oh my god the celebrations it was it was un unbelievable and let's have a little look because i did change things up a little bit here this is the new tactic yes i think i'm not entirely sure what number tactic we're on here but my god this is this is what we've gone back to so we're playing fernandez just behind badshwai milivojevic uh, in there with kuyate because they're both quite good and it's actually been going well. And you can see, I think we deserved it. It was a last minute goal, but I think we deserved to get something out of it. And it was Nakajima with the goal. No, it was Bashwai with the goal. <laughs> it was Bashwai with the goal. Um, then we went away to Wolves. And this we should have won this one as well. Um, I mean, the you look at the uh, you look at the XG, doesn't look you know two different nil nil draw you probably take yeah so we had a we had a chance uh, a really good chance in this game which we didn't put away you can see that there um and we were creating chances right up until the end it was a good game of football we could have taken that but a nil nil draw away against wolves who were doing well in the league you cannot moan about that but we're still we're still nowhere near where we needed to be and then we had west brom at home who were struggling a bit in the league and we beat them 2-1. And so all of a sudden, I'm thinking, what the heck is going on here? You can see it was 1-1 and a late, late goal from Emerson. And it was a cracking goal. An absolute stonker from the left back, um, which was really good to see. Um, yeah, I think we were fully deserving of this victory as well. You can see. I mean, yeah, they, they had a good chance. You can see at the end here, but... We were absolutely deserving of that, and that felt very good. Quaison going in there, but he don't think he played the full game. So we were still in all sorts of trouble, and we had a really tough away game against Leeds, who were flying high, and we beat them 2-1. Now, I don't know where this is, how this has happened. I don't know quite what is going on here. Um, the, the difference is I'm hoping that we've rolled into the beta, or we rolled out of the beta, sorry, and we're into the main game. Um, that's what at least what I thought had happened, but it just updated recently. I couldn't see anything saying beta on there, so I thought maybe we were in the beta, but I didn't. I've only just had an update, so I'm slightly concerned that everything I've done with this new tactic is going to be completely um, turned on its head. But yeah, this game was was great was great absolutely great didn't deserve it you can see we had two really good chances Batshuayi early on um, they then created a load of chances and we were holding on holding on and then right at the end Nakajima got himself a goal uh, did we deserve it probably not but we we did get the goal so where does that put us guys where does that put us we have one game to go we're at home against Brighton you didn't expect this. I mean, it looks so bloody suspicious, doesn't it? Because I, I won. Um, actually, no, I won this game on camera. Then we had this great run. And then next time we were back, we lost to these two. 
played terribly and then all of a sudden I've started winning again. It looks really suspicious, but I can honestly say it is not at all. I'm utterly, utterly gobsmacked how well this tactic has worked. And what I, have I done? Um, I don't think I've done an awful lot. I've gone back to the original uh, style of tactic, but what I did notice was that our intensity was perhaps a little bit um, a little bit crazy each time we were playing and I thought maybe well is that going to be a problem so I took it down a little bit uh, and that's that seemed to make a little bit of a difference I also fiddled around as you can see with a bunch of these things um, I'm trying to think what it was I did uh, so we went back with the counter press on yes went back with the counter press on these guys started playing well together, which was nice. I had a, I had the dotted line not so long ago, but now we have the, the full line. Took off a load of the, the instructions, but actually got them playing down the flanks rather than um, trying to play with the, the overlap. Uh, and it's working. <laughs> it's working at the minute. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm expecting it all to blow up. And, you know, when you actually need a win, which is now, let's have a look at the table. This is absolutely a hundred percent in need of a win right now you can see we sit in 18th place the teams around us well we could we could finish as high as 16th um and we can finish as low as 19th and it's all down to these last games so let's have a look who is playing where so sheffield united they are at home against leicester so sheffield united are two points ahead of us they've got a much better goal difference but leicester well, they are they're in the the champions uh, well in the Euro Cup two places, so you know they are nothing to sniff at. So that's a decent opportunity for Leicester to to knock them um, knock their blocks off. Burnley are away against Southampton. That's a worry. Um, that is a, a a a big worry because Burnley should uh, probably beat Southampton, but Southampton have won a few games so maybe let's have a look so Burnley I think have beaten Southampton which is annoying uh, Southampton only well they've only beaten the teams down around us so that's that's fine and Newcastle well Newcastle where are they playing they're at home against West Ham so that, again that's not ridiculously difficult the problem we have is that we're playing Brighton who are up there um, Leeds were up there, but Brighton have been had a very, very good season. So they have qualified for uh, the Europa League. They aren't going up or they, they're not going down. So let's hope they put a weakened side out. But unbelievably, we get to the last game of the season and we could potentially get out of this without going down, which if you'd have said that to me last episode, I would have laughed in your face. If you said that to me... Uh, I don't know, at the end of January, yeah, I would have thought you were a madman. But no, madman, you are not. We're way too early. Let's get to that game. I'll see you in a second. Right then. Well, here we go. This is this is it. Um, this is our um, what the whole season has come down to after an unbelievably poor middle part of the season. A reasonable start, a very tough sort of early part of the season uh, and then a terrible middle the end to it has been much much better but we have a really hard game here against brighton they smashed us in the uh, the away leg so i'm not thinking that we've got that much um in the way of opportunities here but we will see what we can do because if we can take a win over brighton if we can get a draw that might be enough which is crazy let's see we're not going to go balance what we've been doing the other thing that we've been doing at the start of games is just starting it on cautious which is a really interesting thing that i've not really done an awful lot of before but it sort of starts the game off in a very dull way but it means they don't come at us and we start to build our way into it or at least that's what's been happening and start to have a few shots and and, and then start to take control of the game which is fascinating and whether it'll work this time i don't know few problems we have um well we have iu is out but we've got andy townsend coming back so that is no loss um and that 
is the only change that we're going to be making. I think the squad looks good. What we've got on the bench, Riedewald could come in and Mitchell could come in. I like both of those. Wickham and Benteke, no. And we've got Ayu Tompkins um, out. So let's see what we can do with this. It would be awesome, absolutely awesome to get results, to stay up. But we will see. We will see. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Let's do it. This is huge. I had a, a, a pre-season, oh, a meeting with the team, a team meeting, or so-called, um, and they were, in the main, I managed to G them all up, apart from Sako Milivojevic, uh, who thought that I basically, I said, just put a good performance in and hopefully what will come will come. And they they basically thought I should be putting more emphasis on the fact that this really meant something, but I didn't want to pressure the guys. The majority of the team weren't pressured, so I wonder if I had gone a much more sort of gung-ho attitude, whether that would have been a bad idea, and actually you might have made those two happy, but the rest wouldn't have been that happy. It's hard anyway, so a lot of motivated players. Uh, it's... Shall we go with revenge? That is always a good one. Inspired Carlos Fernandez. Interestingly, I in, in A Bomb FM's save, he's he's come in first couple of games for Fernandez. He scored two goals. So that's been interesting to watch. I've still got a couple of episodes to to catch up on, on that, but I'd be fascinated to see how he does. As he's not really been that good for me. Nakajima, on the other hand, I've been very impressed with uh, in terms of signings. Emerson, I've been pleased with. Um but there have been a lot of players that I bought in that I really just haven't been very good. I, I, yeah, I, I freely admit my transfer business has been terrible. Right, tension and drama. Uh, do we think we're going to in, in get survival? Let's say we hope so. Specific, specific tactical considerations for such a big match. Do you honestly think I do that? Let's say we have and but we haven't really so that's going to confuse them double bluff them right and boys let's do this thing are you ready we're, we're ready we're going cautious as i said and we'll see how the match starts can we do the m most ridiculous thing and get out of this or is the uh, the curse of the live com going to do us and, and they are already on the attack veltman we make a challenge there that's all right McSallister. Oh, it's in. It's bloody in. What sort of shot was that from miles out? Bernardo. That's a charity. Oh, that's not very charitable. Oh, come on. That's frustrating. One shot from bloody distance. That is the last thing we needed. Right, ball is out. And we look like we might be picking it up. Bad Schwein. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, if I was going to draw a the start that I didn't want, this would be it. I mean, the ball's out to Bad Schwein here. What's he going to do here? He plays the ball back. Sacco, so Ferguson decides he's not going to touch that. And, uh, well, that is as bad as it could have got. I, right, that's a long way back, boys. That's a long way back. Milivojevic, let's not get too disheartened. Oh, lovely ball in, but Ryan gets his dirty mitts to it. There is no way back here. I can see one of these horrible games where we get absolutely smashed and look like we don't know how to play football. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Oh, for Pete's sake, goalkeeper. I mean, is this is this kind of like a big game thing that he's kind of gone completely lost it? Right, come on. Let's get this. Let's get a chance, shall we? They're playing the ball around very, very nicely. And, and we're out of it. And I don't... It, it kind of looks exactly like it was to start with, so I don't know what's happened in the meantime. Right, um, I'm going to berate them for that. That's that's the worst possible start. 
three chances we've, we've given them some of these chances I genuinely believed we were going to do something here and um, yeah we haven't so I think we're going to have to come out of our shell a little bit and, and come at them but it's late we're late late in the day right we'll go with this we're at half time it's really three nil down thrash arms about and that's not good not good at all where was the team that beat Leeds in the last game I mean they had chances I mean look, you've got to say they were they've been clinical but the chances that we've given away has been just dreadful ball over the top come on is there a chance here they're going to make a mistake go on make a mistake they're going to make it interesting they have they've been it to Townsend yes it's Andros Townsend we're back in it not long to go but is there a way back in this pause this bloody game for a second where's the um, where's me right so looking at this at the moment and we'll we're gonna latest scores we're gonna have those up you can sort of see that um, Newcastle are absolutely smashing West Ham that's not what we want Southampton are smashing Burnley that is good and Sheffield United are losing easily to Leicester so essentially what has to happen is we need to score three goals from here easy easy times we okay with that let's do it score three goals Ward ball in he's going for the long throw it's another thing I've kind of fiddled with but it's straight into the goalkeeper's hands we did come close actually with the uh, with the long throw <laughs> yeah well, come on right okay Nakajima's got it Carlos Fernandez into Townsend Townsend oh it's over the top oh they've been so nice to score that come on boys it's better we're coming back into it it's just far too late ball over the top will pay lovely <laughs> lovely play from the defender and uh, we clear it and we've got the ball it's Nakajima we're showing a little bit better ball into Bajwai <sighs> it's fucking Townsend it's two three it's ridiculous but there is so far to go can we can we oh my come on we're gonna go attacking I'm not taking the tempo up should we hit shoot on sight I think we almost have to at this stage and just hope for the best let's make let's make some changes okay and we're also going to make some changes here we're going to do is this a mistake he's not going to be at the club after this Maya Urgh. fingers crossed boys oh, come on there is a chance and Nakajima has it Nakajima he's played it through it's Batshuayi Batshuayi he's played it back to Emerson looking for Lake and Palmer can't find them he finds Sacco instead ball back to Emerson beautiful control into Nakajima Nakajima it's long into top um, him Maya it's in it's three three it's three three Wah right what does this mean right let's let's look let's look where, where does this put us we're still with we're, we're, we're equal with Newcastle Newcastle now are still 3-0 up so we have to score another goal if we score another goal we might get out of this Southampton they're still 4-1 up so there is the chance now to, to do something crazy here and let's look at this again Nakajima into Townsend Badshwai into Maya what a substitution and let's go let's go last few minutes come on boys 
Oh, 88 minutes. I think we almost have to go very attacking. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, what we've got on the bench. We still have ch changes to make. We've hardly done anything tactically, have we? Let's think about this. Think about this. I don't really want to make a change up top because I, they, everyone's looking nervous. Kiate is looking knackered and nervous. Take him off. We've got James McCarthy motivated, ready for a goal. That is that is it. That is it. That is the change that's going to give us the goal. Come on, let's do it. McCarthy. It's not it's not going to give us the goal and I mean what can I say it was a valiant effort it was a valiant effort that might well be it job wise I, I thought finally I think I've got this got this team playing football um, I, I hope <laughs> I mean I admit it didn't look it after 24 minutes but uh, once we got our, ourselves in the game, we looked like the most likely to win that in the last 10 minutes. So it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Great performance, but it's not enough, unfortunately. And um, I think you have to say well done, but it's not enough, unfortunately, guys. And we are relegated as far as I can tell. Yeah, I, th I shouted at them is what I did. <laughs> or told them they believed in them. Maya came on, he was great. And um, yeah, we have finished and we have gone down on goal difference, which considering how it was early on, I will take. Now, does that mean we still have a job at the end of this? And if we do, I think my challenge will be to try and take them up again in the first season. If I don't, then, well, the save ends. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Well, the board have given me £42 million to spend in the championship with a, a wage budget of £1.7 million per week. Let's have a look at the club vision. Let's see. Let's see. It's an E. We're relegated. Um, I think it may not happen just yet. We'll move on a little bit and see what happens. Uh, we get a bit of money there. Three nil down. I thought we had no hope. Absolutely no hope. But what a comeback! And I that just started to believe right at the end there 10 minutes to go and this is the end of season review we've not seen this before so this will be fun um right the new arrivals these are the players that have come in board are pretty happy with that um how i think they've done i was pretty pleased with i think fernandez in the end was a better player than i gave him credit for emerson he's done very very well and i think he'll be a good acquisition next year nakajima i'd love to extend his loan um uh, hallander he was good backup fairly happy with that transfers out uh they're not particularly happy with but um you know it is what it is i mean zahar's hardly played he's playing crap as well so that's uh, that's the way it is right season's results boards are satisfied that they try the team tried their best <laughs> fair enough well uh, moments to remember well, there are them uh, so one nil win over tottenham that was very nice um you know doing well in the carabao cup all these things finances we've done all right financially i think the board have to be happy with that squad a bit all over the place really um we had far too many players to start with so it's been good to uh to sort of um trim that down a bit and get some quality players in um 
what do we get? So end of season awards. Here we go. Uh, Sacco, player of the year, player of the season. Young player of the season is Riedewald. Not really young. Signing this season, Emerson. I'd agree with that. And uh, record breakers. So I like this. Michi Bashawai, 18 goals. Um, he's been the he's been the man. We'll try and keep him next season, but we'll we'll see. I think we've we've got some work to do. Right. Let's see if we still got a job. Let's see if we still got a job. It looks like we do, amazingly. Uh, what we got to do then? Sign players and sell for a birth of five-year plan. Sorry. Youth youth player counter-attacking football. La -di da. Win promotion. I think this is a good thing. If we can win promotion, that would be a fun season, won't it? Could get sacked really quickly. <laughs> Let's accept that vision. I'm happy with that. Um... I thought the end to the season was really, really good. Um, we are going to go back up automatically. I think we've absolutely got a good chance of doing that. Once you're back from holiday, let's let's see who we've got. I'm not going to make promises too early. Do you think I am? Oh, right. On the whole, though, we're happy with the lack of promises. So that's it. We are we have finished the season. We've done one full season in FM21. It wasn't the most successful season, but what was most successful about it is despite getting relegated, we didn't get sacked. And in the end, it went down to goal difference as to why we went down. Just gutted that we ended up shipping three goals in the first 24 of minutes of that game. Otherwise, we we would surely we would be uh, in a good place. Okay, guys, let me know what you thought of the first season. I was, it was terrible in parts, wasn't it? How I didn't get sacked, I don't know. But maybe I just got the results at the right time. But good finish, and hopefully we can take that into the next season. If you've enjoyed this uh, series, and we've got an interesting challenge now, getting them promoted, hit that like button. Please subscribe if you are enjoying that. Let me know in the comments whether you think I can do it the first, first attempt next season, and I'll see you next season which will be next to later on this week uh, when that starts. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs>